Austin Davis, quarterback of the St. Louis Rams, joins us now on the telephone on the Rich Eisen Show. Austin, how are you, man? Thanks for taking the time. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Monday night football. That's kind of a big deal. And I know you want to say one week at a time, but uh, what's that going to be like for you? Well, I think it will be exciting. I mean, obviously, you dream about playing on Monday night, um, but as you said, we've got to approach it the same, and especially myself, I can't let the uh, you know the lights get too too bright and the situation get too big, just kind of play our game and uh, let everything else take care of itself. Austin, what have the last couple of weeks been like for you? I was telling the story before you, you came on here. When camp started, and, and obviously you'd been with the Rams in camp and practice squad and third quarterback, second quarterback over the, over the last couple of years. You went to Miami briefly. But when camp started, I mean, you and I both know this. A lot of people thought Garrett Gilbert had your job. He didn't. You won that job. And then, obviously, Sam got hurt. Sean Hill got hurt. Did you ever think that you would be standing here like this, getting ready for a Monday night game? Well, you know, I don't think anyone would have predicted uh, the situation we're in right now. Um, and, uh, you know, for this organization, it's it's obviously unfortunate that, you know, we lost Sam, uh, the face of the organization, and just a great player. And, um, you know, things happen. Injuries happen. And uh, we we try to support him best we can. And then, obviously, Sean, uh, Sean goes down, and, and that's just the way it works. So, you know, I tried to be prepared, um, tried to take it one day at a time. There, You know, there were times where, where I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, but that's why you just kind of stay – stay the course and uh, when your opportunity comes just be ready and um, you know I've had a lot had a lot of fun playing and I'm really looking forward to this week I think I think we're getting better um, obviously our record's not what anybody wants it to be um, but we've got to keep moving forward and keep working and um, you know find a way to play 60 minutes and uh, get a win. Austin ha have you had a I can't believe this is happening moment yet has that happened? I haven't had time to think about it, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, we're just, uh, the weeks, they fly by. Uh, it seems like you play one and then you've got to get prepared for another. You don't really think too much about uh, each game. So, in, in a way, that's good. Uh, you just kind of keep your head down and and, um, and go to work. Austin, how does, how does this team do things differently? Because it seems like a lot of the Rams games are the same. You guys fall behind. You got to rally back. Now, granted, you guys have done a heck of a job rallying back, but it doesn't always work. Or you get the big lead against Dallas, for example, and that that lead disappears, and then you have to to rally back again. Mm -hmm. There have been penalties. There have been sloppy play. How does yeah. this team flip that? And and how do we see something other than the same game this Monday? Yeah. Well, I think you know it starts with playing a complete football game. Um, I think you've seen in every game you've seen the you know, the ability and the bright spots of what we're capable of. Um, but at the same time, you've seen the critical mistakes that, that cost you football games in this league. So we, we've, we talk about it. Uh, it's being addressed. We've got to play um, clean, good football game for 60 minutes. And then that's hard to do. Um, um, and when we do uh, make mistakes, we've got to find a way to overcome those. And unfortunately, that hasn't happened as much as we've we've wanted it to but um, the, the biggest thing for us is, is staying positive um, uh, just kind of taking what we've done well and, and what we what we can build on and um, you know I think the wins will come you know I think the last thing we need to do is panic um, and just kind of throw throw everything away I think we need to keep building on what we're doing and um, you know it doesn't get any easier as far as the schedule is concerned obviously San Francisco is really really good team but it's a great challenge for us, and I think uh, if we play well and, and have a chance to win the ball game, it'll be great for our confidence, and we need that. You know, you mentioned the schedule, Austin. I, I know that, that you're going to handle this and say the right things here. It's one game at a time. You're the quarterback. You're the new quarterback. You certainly have to say that. But let me say it now. You guys, as we see the schedule on the screen here, the Niners, the Seahawks, the Chiefs, and then the Niners again, San Francisco twice in four weeks, you guys have a stretch. And I don't know that I have ever, Austin, seen a stretch like this. Seven out of eight against playoff teams from a year ago, and the, the one game there that isn't against the playoff team from 2013 is against the Cardinals, who until six days ago were the only undefeated team of the NFL, and or one of two, rather, and, yep. and they had 10 wins last year. So they were a 10-win team that didn't make the playoffs. Again, right. no excuses here. Uh, anyone can win every game or any game. We saw the Bucs do that in Pittsburgh. 
But but have you ever seen a stretch like this? Well, I think I mean that's the first thing you notice when the schedule comes out. You know, you look at that kind of the meat of the schedule, and you say that is going to be a tough stretch. Um, and and you you've already alluded to it. The only way to get through a stretch like that is to focus uh, on one game. And um, you know, I think the big thing is to realize we don't have to to beat all those teams one week in one week. We've just got to beat the team we're playing. Um, so it seems daunting. It seems um, you know like you can't overcome it, but. Um, I think if we stay focused and just keep our head down and uh, keep working, uh, let the uh, let the games play themselves out. And you never know what's going to happen. You never know. You know, teams are different at the beginning of the season. They are at the end of the sure. season. Injuries happen. You know, things happen. Teams get better. Teams win a few games and they get confidence. And uh, that's where we are right now. We, you know, we're, we're playing decent football, but we're not winning football games. And we've got to find a way to get a win and start building that confidence and then, you know, hopefully go on a run. All right, Austin, indulge us here. We're going to talk about you for a little bit. I am told that you grew up a big Tampa Bay Bucks fan and that you are mildly excited, let me put it that way, <laughs> to talk to John Gruden when he comes to town Saturday. True? That's true. Yeah, I am excited. Um, you know, obviously his personality and uh, what he brings to the – to the game is awesome. I think, I think he's been great for Monday Night Football, um, and I am I am looking forward to having a conversation with him and uh, just sitting down and uh, getting to getting to do that. It's pretty cool. You know, you're probably the first quarterback to ever get excited about a Saturday production meeting. You realize that, right? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you don't have to tell everybody that. <laughs> Seriously, w wouldn't w it, it, when you came out of Southern Miss, would, would you you would have loved to have the Put, have Gruden put you on the board thing, right? That segment on SportsCenter? I don't know. I, those those get kind of sticky sometimes. I think I just enjoyed watching those from the from the couch. Could you have could you have handled it? I mean, if he if I he grilled so. you, could you have handled it? Yeah, I think so. I, you know, you just um, you know say all the right things and uh, don't worry about it. But that that would have been cool too. All right, one last thing. What's it going to be like to have the the greatest show on turf? in the building on Monday. Kurt Warner is going to be there. He, he's, he's won a little bit in that building. Marshall Falk is <laughs> going to be there. Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce, you know, the, one of the greatest offenses this league has ever seen. Those guys will be honored on Monday night. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we can kind of feed off of that. It'll, hopefully it'll bring a little energy um, to the stadium, obviously it being a Monday, Monday night game. Uh, that'll be the case. Um, and, yeah, it's just we were all well aware of the success that those guys had and um, you know the, hopefully they'll bring us a little confidence and uh, we can kind of uh, play with that edge. Yeah, Torrey's actually been on the field coaching a little bit last year as well. I know you saw that. He worked with the wide receivers sure. in training camp. Austin Davis, it's a great story. You go from fourth to starting and you've been putting up some pretty darn impressive numbers. Hopefully uh, some impressive ones and a win as well coming up on Monday on Monday Night Football against the 49ers. Austin, best of luck. Thanks for joining us. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.